Good morning, everyone. It's my birthday. Actually, it's not. Tomorrow's my birthday, but I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I have absolutely no plan, but today is my birthday. We're pretending today's my birthday because this is the only day that like, I could coordinate to get everyone that I wanted to come to be there. We have a lot to do today. I'm hosting a garden party tonight. A few of my good friends I've met here doing like a small little thing. And I decided I'm gonna be the one to cook everything. So if you know anything about me, you know I'm not much of a cook, but recently I've been in my like making everything, figuring everything out myself era so that's what we're gonna do today our dinner is later today and i'm very nervous that i'm not gonna be able to get everything done in time so hopefully we can and i thought i'd film the whole thing just to have it as a memory usually this is something i wouldn't film but i feel like it's different this year this is like my first birthday that i feel like an adult i don't know like Turning 21 last year. Oh yeah, I'm turning 22, by the way. That's crazy. I don't know when I'm going to post this, hopefully soon, but I'm turning 22, which I feel like this is the first time I felt like an actual adult, even though I've been an adult for a while and I've lived on my own for a while. This is the first time I've been like, I just want to have like a few friends over to eat. We don't really need to do anything. And like tomorrow on my actual birthday, I have not one thing planned. All of my friends are at work or school, so I'm probably just going to spend my 22nd like by myself, which honestly very fitting for who I am but I can't believe I'm 22 it's my Taylor Swift birthday I swear my sweet 16 was three months ago and it's actually crazy because I feel like everyone says time goes by so fast but like 16 to 22 like though that was six years of my life so fast I honestly don't really have a fear of aging like a lot I feel like a lot of people nowadays do I honestly enjoy aging and I I think I only have been getting better with age and I feel like 30 is gonna be like my prime years like I I look forward to it to be honest but I do like the young wild and free state like era but I feel like I've never really been in that era fully so I don't know but I'm happy to be 22. I'm excited. I'm excited to host this dinner. And honestly, I really just hope I have a good birthday because I haven't had a good birthday in a while, which is so sad. But I feel like, especially last year, I had probably the worst birthday I will ever have in my life. It's supposed to be fun turning 21. Yeah, I know. It wasn't. So I really just wanted this year to be like happy. I just want to be happy and like chill. And it is supposed to rain today. And my party is supposed to be outside. But I don't care. I'm gonna keep a smile on my face and we're gonna have a good time anyway. First things first, birthday coffee. <laughs> Does anyone else do that on your birthday? Like everything is just birthday blank. Birthday coffee, birthday breakfast, except it's the same thing I do every single day. But it makes it more fun and exciting. I feel like for everything I romanticize in my life, which is everything, the one thing I never ever romanticize or I ever like, I was gonna say feel special, but that's a little bit deep. The only thing I don't do that for is my own birthday, which is so sad, but I feel like something about my birthday makes me feel really awkward. I, I hate it. It's kind of just like, everybody look at me, everybody celebrate me, which yeah, it's supposed to be like that. And I love doing that for other people, but I've never, I don't think I've ever had a birthday where I'm like excited for people to celebrate me or like, I can't wait to like make it a cute dinner and I can't wait to do all this stuff. And like today I actually do feel like that. Like I am very excited to celebrate my birthday. I got all the decorations and I'm making all the food and I feel like it feels a lot more personal and I'm a lot more excited about it. And I got little card games for us to play at the dinner table. And it's just like, so my vibe. That's one thing is like every time it's my birthday, I'm like, okay, like I feel so awkward asking people to do what I like. Like what does everyone else want to do? Like everyone else wants to go out, everyone wants to do this, whatever. And this year, like, I'm actually doing something I want to do. Like, this is my idea. Because all the friendships I have here are so new, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not doing anything for my birthday. Like, it's just gonna be one of those years, again, where I'm just, like, not really focused on my birthday. But right now, I invited eight girls, or there's gonna be eight girls, including me, so seven girls. They actually care that it's my birthday, even though we just met, like, a month or two ago. Like, they actually like, what are we doing for your birthday? I want to celebrate you. What can I bring? What do I wear? What are we doing? I'm so excited. Like... Everyone is like making me feel like my birthday's not a burden, which is usually how birthdays feel, I feel like. Like I hate asking people to celebrate me. Everyone's been so nice this year and I feel like this is like, it's just what I've been like longing and waiting for. It's like, I want to celebrate and I want to have this cute dinner because everyone else wants to come as well. And it's not like, oh, like I know like deep down they don't want to come. Like that's usually how you feel when you're friends with guys. It's just like, do they even care? <laughs> like, we're having just like a girly dinner with flowers everywhere and Christmas lights and random appetizers that we're eating as our meal and it's just gonna be really cute i need to finish making my coffee and then we're gonna start preparing all the dishes i have to get my nails done too okay i think the first thing i'm gonna do right now is 
ice my cake because then I have to put it in the fridge for a little bit because it's an angel food cake and I made it last night. I made the layers last night, which was honestly so difficult. I didn't know making angel food cake was different than regular cake and there was all these techniques, but see, this is what I feared was gonna happen. It's two layers, but they kind of squished down. Okay, I quickly just whipped up a little cream cheese, like fruit dip recipe. And now I'm gonna make this be the filling inside the first layer. The first layer is literally so squished, but it's okay, it was made with love, okay? Okay, I got all the strawberries on there. Every time something I make is like ugly, I'm just like, oh, you can tell it was made with love. Like, no, it actually just looks hideous. And they're like, oh my God, you made this? Or they're gonna be like, oh, you made this. Mm. This is where everything can go very, very wrong. I need to like strategically flip this onto. Do I just do it quickly? I feel like this isn't the proper technique. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. See, everything just somehow works out. She's lopsided, she's crooked, she's beautiful, and she's mine. I made these chocolate covered strawberries and they were in the freezer or the fridge. Now I'm transporting them to like a different dish so that we can easily transport it. Something that is not going to plan. My dress hasn't come yet, which is not the end of the world. I'm honestly like not really concerned about what I wear. Like I just wanna have fun. I am a little upset because I spent money on it. I paid two day shipping, still not here. But when I look at shipping, it says it's in Charleston. It's just not at my building. So I don't know what time it's gonna come, but because it's in Charleston, I have hope. I was mid cutting the cheese and I got a notification that I have a package delivery. So I think we should go find out if it's my dress. If it's my dress, I just manifested that because I said that like literally two minutes ago. It's the moment of truth. They put it in the wrong mail room. I have to go to the other building. One second. Oh, oh my God, it's here. I am so happy right now. I made a nail appointment for a half hour from now. So I just want to get like a neutral color because this is my dress. I've always dreamed of having the dress from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, the yellow backless dress. And I've tried to find dupes for it and there's never like a perfect one that's the perfect color. And even this one, now that I look at it, is a lot darker than I thought it would be, but that's okay because I'm a lot paler than I thought it would be. But I got a dupe of that yellow dress and it's from Meshki. It doesn't have the crisscross back. It has like a swoop back. I know Lulu's has one with a crisscross back, but theirs was like too yellow for me and I wanted a more muted color. I'm very happy with that. I'm walking to my nail appointment right now. I just ironed my dress and hung it up before I left. Okay, I just left the salon. They look so cute, um, but they definitely like overcharged me or they charged me for a full set instead of a fill. And I need to start speaking up because they charged me $80 which I think is more than they charged me when I got my full set on because on the board it says fill 40. So I like look at him and then I'm like, okay, well I did get a reshaping in gel. So maybe that adds $80. And so I looked at him and I was like, okay, he's gonna correct it. And then he didn't correct it. I'm so confused. I stopped at my PO box on the way home and I was not expecting to see anything because I went just a few days ago, but so many people sent me stuff for my birthday. So I got really excited because I start, so I started opening stuff in the car. So I'll show you what I opened and then I have a bunch of stuff I haven't opened that I'll open with you, including a package from my best friend Zoe at home. If you wrote me a card, thank you so much. I keep all of them and I read all of them. Like all of these I read and I appreciate you guys so, so much. And then Daniela sent me her book journal. It's called My Dream Book Journal and she created it. And it's my favorite color of blue. And then this is her Instagram right here. So cute. I would definitely use this once mine is full. Thank you so much. This made me want to cry. This is from Manar in Kuwait. Thank you for introducing me to the wonderful world of booktube and making me smile and laugh. And they sent me a book embosser. This is the thing that it will print on the books. From the library of Steph, I wanna stamp on every single book I own. That is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. This one brought a tear to my eye as well. From Lisa, Lice, I don't know how to say that, L-Y-C-A. She sent me a hardcover special edition of the Song of Achilles. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite books ever. I need to do a reread soon. And she wrote this book belongs to Steph Four, and this is beautiful. I'm gonna put this on display like right up here. Look at the back, my tattoo. Oh my God, I'm. thank you, thank you, thank you. Courtney at Books for Court on Insta sent me her favorite hockey romance book, which I'm definitely gonna read. I'm actually back in my sports romance era recently, so I'll definitely be reading that soon. Faith sent me How Sweet It Is by Dylan Newton. Looks like a cutie rom-com. Thank you. 
I'm so excited about this too. I, again from Faith, she sent me Love Rosie, which this is one of my favorite movies of all time and I've never read the book. So that's so exciting. Also the cover is so cute. Then from Harris, she sent me The Summer of Chasing Mermaids. Never heard of, but she said it's one of her favorite books of all time. So I'm excited about that. Then from Bella Boutique, she sent me some jewelry, which is so cute and definitely so my style. Like, like look at that little starfish. That's so cute. Thank you. Okay, the last thing I already opened was from Zoe. She sent me an Addicted to You sticker. She sent me, so cute, wait, a little moon necklace. It's pink with a little gold moon on it. Just so thoughtful. Oh, again from Faith. Oh, is this a candle? I have enjoyed your videos and have enjoyed visiting Charleston myself. I thought you might like a candle named after your new home. <gasps> Look at that. And it says Charleston on it. This smells familiar. I'm going to put this up right here and I'm going to light that. I love that. Thank you so, so much. From Destiny Daniels. Look how cute she did this envelope. Oh my God. And it's like all stamped. Stop. She put friendship bracelets in here. I actually don't really have any friendship bracelets because I went to opening night and that wasn't a big thing back then. She asked me what my favorite vault tracks are and my favorites are slut and is it over now? I think I decided I'm gonna save Zoe's presents for tomorrow so that my birthday feels a little bit more special because I don't really have plans for tomorrow. So I'm gonna save that. Now I really have to start getting ready though. <laughs> I just got to the house that we're having the party at. The kitchen is so cute. I'm so excited, except now I have to actually start cooking the food. I got these pre-made flatbreads from Trader Joe's. Olive oil. I'm in my chef era. I saw people doing a variation of this on TikTok, so I'm kind of recreating. Can't take the credit. Sorry, I'm like kind of frantic and in a rush, even though I don't really have to be. Oh, I was supposed to put pesto on one of them. I was gonna do one garlic, one pesto. That was literally the whole point. Oh well. Hello? Oh, that's not working. My friend Ellie just FaceTimed me from the Noah Khan concert and then she sent me an audio message because we lost service. She goes, this song will never not remind me of you. But I don't have a tray, so I just have to go full tin foil. Tiny oven mitt. <gasps> no, no. I cannot believe that just happened. Now I'm gonna have to restart. Okay, I just redid that whole one. I had to scrape everything off and restart. The other one's been in there for a minute. It's up top, but now they're both in there. Let those cook. And now I'm gonna start the pesto pasta. I haven't even gotten dressed yet. Happy early birthday. Everyone is so nice. Everyone's getting here and because I'm running behind, they're outside setting up the table for me as I cook. Just finished all the food, but I finished all that. They're literally going to town out there. But I'm gonna change now, and then I'll see you. Um, update, Kylie's driving me back to my apartment. We haven't started eating because I realized I forgot my dress. <laughs> How do you forget your dress? Like, I put it in the garment bag. I thought like that was so good. I'm actually speechless, and now everyone's there, and I'm leaving to go back to get my dress. It's unreal, actually unreal, I'm so stupid. Okay, we made it back. I can show you my dress, and I'm gonna go see the party for the first time. This is my dress. How this guy in 10 days vibes. Sorry, everyone. Oh <laughs> yes, it was worth going to get it. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love those songs. I actually know about love, that's also <laughs> Love you. I've been searching for the card that Harden gets Tessa in after because it's literally so funny. You see it in the movie, it's front of it, it says, Here's your birthday card. And then on the inside, it says, And here's the inside. I, I, I saw this card. Here's your birthday card. Here's the inside. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Is it recording? It's recording. Okay. Love you. Amazing. <laughs> Happy 
this. I love the cold. It's giving midsummer. It's giving that, but also really constant on her birthday. Kind of giving Sarah Cameron. It is. Oh, so, a toast. Cheers oh, to Steph. Why do you look so perfect in this? Thanks. Cheers. 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 I almost started singing when I mean I almost started crying when they say happy birthday. I was like, oh, it's so cute. Like I have friends, and she's like, how have I known you? Twenty seconds, or twenty years. We've been playing this game, and also I need to cut the cake. Like I'm really procrastinating. Yes. We're having a friendship girlhood moment. <laughs> Let's take the moment and taste it. You got no reason to be afraid. You're on your own, kid. But you're not. <laughs> I just got home and put all the flowers I got in water. Everyone brought me flowers. But anyway, I had the best time. Sorry, my window is open. It's just really hot in here. You probably hear the traffic. I had the best time. I really, really did. I just love everyone so much. Like, that made my heart seriously so full. Just talking and laughing and telling stories and playing those card games and singing and eating and having a good time. And even though it was off to a chaotic start with the cooking last minute, the forgetting my dress, but then everyone, like all the girls set up all the outside table while I was gone getting my dress because they knew I was probably really stressed out because I was. So they set everything up and they made it beautiful and perfect and exactly what I envisioned in my head. And like, I didn't even have to ask them to do that. Like they just did it to help. And like they set everything up. <laughs> Just so nice, and then we just ate and had a great time. And that's exactly what I wanted. That's literally all I wanted for my birthday. And I'm so happy right now. I need a chocolate covered strawberry. Tomorrow when I wake up, actually my birthday is in less than two hours. I have no plan tomorrow, like I'm not seeing anyone. So I thought that I would just continue this vlog tomorrow. But yeah, that was my party all complete. Now I'm gonna go take a shower and go to sleep. And when I wake up, I'll be 22. That is so insane. I was born at 6.58 in the morning. So by the time I wake up, I will be 22. I had a happy birthday. And my birthday hasn't even started yet. This is the last clip you'll see of me as a 21 year old. <laughs> I can't believe I actually stayed up. I thought I was gonna fall asleep. But it's officially November 14th, which means it's my birthday. I feel like it's not really your birthday until you go to sleep and then wake up and then it's your birthday. I can't get over my dinner I just had. Like, I know I said I was going to sleep, but like, I can't get over it. Like, how helpful and how sweet and how caring and thoughtful everyone was. Like, <laughs> it makes me so grateful. Like, I've never had that before. I've never had a girlfriend group. And I was just talking to my best friend who, unfortunately, couldn't be here because she lives in a different state and she's in school. I was talking to her about it and she started crying. I started crying. She's so happy for me. I'm so happy. Just everything, like, that's happened in the past year. I did not think that by the time I turned 22 that I would have friends to celebrate my birthday with. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm all tucked in and cozy and wearing my PJs and I'll see you tomorrow for my actual birthday because we're gonna spend it together because I have no plans. See, that is more typical Steph Bora fashion. Good morning, it's officially my birthday. I literally just opened my eyes. <laughs> I love waking up on my birthday. 22 years old. Woo! Stretch. I think I wanna go to the store. 
and get stuff to make pancakes. Okay, I literally rolled out of bed. I'm still wearing my PJs and we're going to the grocery store to get pancake stuff. And then I got in my car and there's like little rose petals everywhere from my drive home last night. And it just reminded me of, there's glitter on the floor after the party. <laughs> and why does that make me want to cry? There's little rose petals all over my car. I don't know if you're supposed to go in the dishwasher, but I don't care. I put everything in there. So there's my pan. Oh, and my spatula is in here. Oh, I need a bowl. Is there a bowl in here? This is the best day of my life. It's the little things. It truly is. The fact that I don't have to do dishes right now and a fork. Everything's clean. This is the best day ever. I want like two pretty decently sized pancakes. How am I gonna, how am I gonna eyeball this? I have to like do the measurements of all the liquids. I have to start doing math. Math on my birthday. That should be against the law. So I'm just gonna do like, looks good to me. I think I actually did that perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna put butter on the pan. Can't believe I bought this whole thing with vegetable oil just to use a tiny splash. Oh. And I already have a ginormous one. Of course I do. I didn't even check. I'm gonna put chocolate chips in there. Now, oh. Okay, I definitely only made one pancake worth. Okay, chocolate. My dad used to make me chocolate chip pancakes every single Sunday growing up. Okay, my pancake is looking like questionably weird. So I definitely got the recipe wrong. Oh my God, wait, but that kind of slayed. Okay, time for a taste test. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> okay, good, I was a little worried. It looked a little suspicious. Now it's time. I'm going to open my presents from Zoe that she mailed to me. I'm so excited. I'm going to open the card first, obviously. Iconic, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I want to cry. I've cried so much at 22 already, but all good tears. Last year, I cried out of sadness. Okay. This is for my kitchen. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh my God, I actually have strawberries to put in this too. It's a little fruit container. That's so cute. Oh my God, her and I like love card games. Is this a new one? 200 reasons to argue debatable disguised as a game. I just set up my like game pantry cupboard thing. So I'm gonna add that to it. These are kitchen sponges and they're in the shape of books. That's so funny. And they like changed the names to be like Moby Dish. Oh my god, is this gonna be a puzzle? I can hear it like rattling around. I've been addicted to puzzles and thought you'd enjoy them too. They are so cute to have out and people just come over and start working on it. Hey, I love that. Especially Christmas time vibes. Okay, last thing in the box. Stop. She got me one of those like book nook things that you build in your shelf. And that's what it's gonna look like on my shelf. You can't really tell. I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. Oh, my head's cut off. I was gonna pick out a cute outfit and then I decided, actually no, um, I just wanna be comfortable. So I'm wearing this new sweater I got from Princess Polly. And then I'm just wearing denim shorts because it's 70 something degrees outside in November, please. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably what I normally do, like go on a walk, listen to music, my audiobook, sit by the water, read my book, go get a matcha. I don't know. I just want peace and relaxation and just what I normally love. I actually just decided I'm gonna pack myself some pasta salad leftovers to bring and then I'm gonna eat by the water. I love this pasta salad. This is my mom's recipe. Did I talk about the pasta salad? I think I make the pasta salad off camera. My mom and all my aunts and stuff would make this for every single childhood birthday party we had, every holiday, every event. Me and my cousins request it for every event. We're like, make that pasta salad. Like at the 4th of July this year when we were all at the beach house, all we asked for, we're like, we don't care what we eat for dinner, make that day 
jam pasta salad and make enough for leftovers for the next month. I really wanted to bring it to the garden party, so I had my mom send me the recipe and I made it. It tastes exactly the same, but I'm like, it's not the same because I made it, you know? Like, that's just like a sign of me growing up. Making the family pasta salad to bring to a party. I'm keeping the tradition alive. I'm an adult. Like, that's crazy. I just had to run home and change. I put pants on because it's windy. 70 degrees, but the wind. I think I'm gonna go to this little bakery and buy myself like a cake or a cupcake or something and bring it home because there's definitely not gonna be a sunset tonight. It's overcast. I put my snuggie on. I'm rewatching old Zoella Vlogmases. This is like my favorite thing to do now and honestly it makes me so nostalgic I could cry because I used to watch these every year. What the hell was that? Anyway, I think I'm gonna hang these Christmas lights that I bought for my party. I used them last night but I think I wanna hang them in my apartment because it's giving Christmas. I already put some like on here but I kinda wanna string them like above my TV and like draping down. Oh my God, she's literally doing the same thing as me. Wait, do you see that? She's hanging shit above her fireplace. Twins! It's so funny that she's decorating for Christmas. I didn't even realize she was doing that in this vlog. Oh, for goodness. When I get my Christmas tree, I think I'm gonna put it here, so I'm gonna keep going. Does that look good? I'm gonna put my tree right there. I just like the part of Dean's book when Allie's like, get Dean. Yeah, oh my god, best part. That was so good, or when he tells off the ex. And, oh, that's another thing. Case and Ryder become friends. I expect it because they're co-hockey. When I come to your apartment, I want to sleep on your couch. It's so comfy. It looks so comfortable. <laughs> We're having a FaceTime birthday party. It's really struggling to focus. Oh. <laughs> Snuggy party. Oh my god, I just zoomed all the way in on your face. Wait. That was really intimate. Oh my god, why is it zoomed in on me? It feels like a perfect night. So we're Snuggies on FaceTime. <laughs> Welcome to our birthday party. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Snuggies, Snuggies. <laughs> right now my birthday is almost over and i wanted to do like a little recap of my year of being 21 now that i'm 22 or just like a little reflection i feel like i probably had the most change in my entire life throughout my 21st year literally starting on my birthday or like the weekend after my birthday last year i had stuff happen to me that i feel like changed me as a person starting right from my 21st birthday and i honestly feel like that was so symbolic because it was like 21 whole situation happened and then it like altered my viewpoint on a lot of things in life with friendships relationships what i prioritize who i prioritize it just like made me reevaluate so much in my life and then i spent the past year like actually like learning and healing from it and also in the new year of 2023 i had a semester of college still i did my entire semester online i was still living at college but i like had no friends and i didn't do anything i just had a few friends from like classes i had previously but no like real substantial friendships at school anymore it was really hard and i was really lonely and i was traveling as much as possible because i didn't even want to be at school and i was just sitting in my apartment as you saw from like all those vlogs from that era i look back on like that time like my dealing with disappointment vlog my spend the week with me because i'm sad vlog everything that was happening at that time led me to where i am today i would not be sitting right here in charleston had all of that not happened to me and like how i chose 
to learn from it. So I had that semester of college still um, that I just really wanted to get over. I really rushed that last semester. I feel like I just wanted to graduate so bad and move on and leave that town. There was nothing there for me anymore. I had nothing left, which is kind of sad. And I just like woke up every day being like, oh, what am I gonna do today? Sit in my apartment and do my school, then repeat the same thing tomorrow. And then I did graduate and I had an amazing summer and I had so much fun. I traveled with my siblings and our friends and we made so many memories. And then I spent a month with my cousins and my childhood friends and just, it was such like a healing summer. Like I had a great summer. My parents also moved across the country. They left Arizona. And that was something that was like, at first I was like, okay, whatever, like let's leave Arizona. Like I have nothing here anymore. And then they left and they moved to Florida. And now it's kind of like, I don't have a home anymore. Honestly, it hasn't even hit me yet because the holidays are coming up and I feel like it's gonna hit during the holidays when I'm like not going home for the holidays like I'm going to my parents new house in this new town in this new state and I'm not gonna like be home it's not gonna feel like home so yeah my parents moved over the summer I literally have not been back to Arizona since May which is crazy because I spent 10 years in Arizona so that era that chapter of my life also ended so not only did college end my life in Arizona that chapter came to a close and then I started a new chapter and I moved out for the first time post-grad to a new city that I'd only been to for one weekend. <laughs> I moved to Charleston on a whim by myself, completely alone, not knowing anyone. I've made it into such a positive experience and I feel like if you would have asked me on my 21st birthday where I thought I would be on my 22nd birthday, the answers look completely different. So many things about myself changed from 21 to 22. 21 was such a formative year and I think I will look back on the year of being 21 for the rest of my life be like that was such an important year is such a formative year because it really really was just so much change happened in one year and that's why i think i'm really excited for 22 because i think it's going to be very calm i'm not going to be making big changes and big decisions and hopefully not dealing with too many heartbreaks or hardships or anything like that i've healed and kind of moved on from things that i went through at 21 and now i'm like Okay, I'm ready to take on 22 with that in the past. So these are the final minutes of my birthday. And I think I'm just going to spend it sitting right here. Probably put on another Zoella Vlogmas. I had a great day. I had an amazing day yesterday. And I had a very peaceful, calm, relaxing, nice day today. I feel really grateful and happy and appreciated just having like thoughtful people like the gifts i got from my best friend and then like a facetime birthday party with my other best friend even last night like just the girls setting the table for me getting phone calls from my grandparents and my parents just things like that that's basically it i'm 22 thank you for joining me on another year of my life i started my channel when i was 18 and come a long way since then we really really have can't wait for 22 and for you guys to join me on this next year of my life and i really really appreciate all of your birthday messages i've been reading them i've been reading my dms i've been reading my comments you guys are the best you guys are the ones that always make me feel so loved and appreciated always and i'm so so grateful for you i genuinely am it means the world to me that you care enough to go out of your way to leave a comment or a message yeah that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed seeing my birthday if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always i posted a lot on instagram for my birthday but yeah i'll see you on my next video very very soon bye